Better yeah. than Mars. Yeah. All right, here we go. This is uh, round three, match three, coolest chemist. We're left only with quality chemists. This, this presentation should be good. In the left corner, we have Jared Bassett with Werner Heisenberg. And, and my Heisenberg. And his Heisenbergettes, right? He's got his, yeah. yeah. They're just slaves. In the right corner, <laughs> in his r the right corner, we have Emmanuel Hernandez with Linus Pauling. Yeah. So where's Linus Pauling from? Uh, he's from uh, uh, or Oregon. Oh, he's from the U.S.? Yeah. Oh, okay. So we've got the United States versus Germany. Ho, ho. All right. How so last time? Uh, each, yeah. each person has two minutes to present their best case while, while the, why their chemist is the coolest chemist. So Linus Pauling lost the coin flip, so he's going to go first. Emmanuel, your two minutes starts now. Okay. Um, my chemist is Linus Pauling. He was born in America, died in America. Um... What I think is really cool of what he contributed to science is that he uh, he established the Linus Pauling electronegativity. Um, what that is is uh, how like uh, how all the elements on the periodic table, all those, and some more because that's not up to date. Um, uh, he, he explained like how all the elements are, um, how all the elements. Uh, react to each other, how you get like how how carbon like bonds to itself, like it has to do with like covalent bonding. Um, uh, most of his, uh, uh, most of the description I describes it doesn't really much make sense, sense to me, but what I've understood is like um, that uh, uh, that all like yeah, everything on the periodic table reacts to that. But thanks to that we have a better understanding on like why like how we can produce gases how we can um, how we can like combine things to make stronger materials how we could like uh, like pure like do things like what we couldn't have done like 500 years ago 200 years ago i believe that linus pauling should be the top uh, chemist thank you Woo! Woo! Yeah! Woo! All right. Yeah! One minute, 38 yeah. seconds. It's now time for Heisenberg. Your two minutes start now. All right, yeah, I'm representing Heisenberg, and then this is my hype man, Frenchie. Uh, so, yeah, it's okay. So, uh, Werner Heisenberg, uh, he was, he's from Germany originally. Uh, he was Jewish, though, and during, the, during World War II, that caused a little bit of trouble for him, needless to say. Uh, However, though, that wasn't directly related to his chemistry work, so we'll just move on to that. He worked under and then later on alongside some of the greatest chemists of all time, you know, like Otto Hahn, Niels Bohr, some of the guys that have done the big stuff. Those are the guys he was working alongside with. He gave us the uncertainty principle, which changed the way we think about atoms. Uh, it, uh, we still, like, that was one of the first things we learned about in chemistry this year. Uh, Heisenberg gave that to us. Um, he also helps uh, begin and establish a lot of the foundations of nuclear energy. And uh, nuclear, just for the record, nuclear doesn't mean bombs. That's something that a lot of people have decided in their minds that nuclear means bombs. It doesn't have anything to do with bombs. It has to do with the nucleus. And nuclear energy is the cleanest, most efficient way to produce energy you know, ever that we've ever discovered. So Heisenberg basically started you know, ushering us into a new frontier of clean, renewable energy. Um, he won the Nobel Prize, and the coolest part about that was that he was nominated for his Nobel Prize by Albert Einstein. And you know, Einstein is you know, one of the smartest guys of all time. Well, he nominated Heisenberg. And just, uh, just in conclusion, he was a super handsome dude, got all the ladies, and he's <laughs> just, just a super cool guy. So that's all I have to say about Heisenberg. Minute 41, all right, it's now time for you to um, ask questions or make statements of fact about your opponent to make them look a little bit bad. This is the mudslinging portion. Yeah, Linus no, Pauling, okay. you went no. first on, so we're gonna have Heisenberg go first on this one. So Heisenberg, you get to go first. Your first Ready? firing shot, go, you can go now. So, can you correct me anytime if I'm wrong here? Sure. Okay, so Linus <laughs> Pauling works a lot with um, vitamin C, right? Yes. Well, he recommended to people in, in a paper that he wrote 
um, as, after he found out that he had won the Nobel Prize, he said everybody should take vitamin C in the morning in their orange juice, like with the little spoonfuls and stuff. He said that to you. He recommended that. Well, I read on the internet, you know, when I was doing my research, just numerous, like dozens of accounts of people getting cancer because they took vitamin C every day in their orange juice for breakfast because Linus Pauling recommended it. So he gave all these people cancer. I mean, what's what are you doing, remember, Linus Pauling? I'm, I'm, I, didn't, I don't remember reading those things. Like, I researched that. Yes, vitamin C does not, like, it does not exactly help you. Like, it doesn't, like, cure any, like, it's not, like, a miraculous, like, a, it's not a miraculous, like, medicine. Like, oh, you take this, you're going to, like, instantly be cured. You'll have never problems ever again. No, I don't believe that. Um, what I did read is that they did do research on it, and they, it was proven that it has little to no effect. Um, but I did not see any cancer, though, so I have no clue where you got that from. I've, I read it on many, many people wrote about uh, how they or their family members got cancer from that. But I thank you. Uh, All right, a couple more questions, so I'll let you. Pauline, go. your turn. Do you have any questions for Heisenberg that, that he could maybe answer? Is it true that you worked? Is it true not you worked? Is it true that Warner Heisenberg worked under like the he he was assigned to like the nuclear bombing the uh, how to make a nuclear bomb for Germany? Okay, so what happened was, um, we'll start pre-World War II, he was on something called the German, I, think, I believe it was called either the German Physics Club or the German Chemist Club. It was, and it was, um, that's where he started his work on nuclear energy. Now, when World War II came around, because of his Jewish roots, he kind of was, um, for a while he was kept captive by Germany, and then he later fled Germany. So he never really helped Germany because he was held captive for them, by them for a while. But the work on the nuclear bomb, like a nuclear bomb itself, was never, you know, Heisenberg, other than um, what his work towards nuclear energy, was he never directly did any work on a nuclear bomb itself. But he did help establish. So, so on a on a way, yeah, he kind of that that's kind of like saying um, that's kind of like saying Fritz Haber is the guy who gassed the Jews. Well, no, he's he made he made gas. You know, for the Nazis, that was a chemical weapon, but it and it later turned into you know other people after him kind of helped make it into that gas, but he didn't just necessarily make the gas. The same thing with Heisenberg and the nuclear bomb. So yeah. All right, Heisenberg, you have another sh another question you may ask. Okay. Um, just you know, I I can't ask him that, but I will. You know, I wish I could ask him if you know he passed a lot of spelling tests in school, because once again after he received the Nobel Prize. He, about a dozen times in a paper, referred to it as the Nobel Prize and spelled Nobel wrong. It's a five-letter word named after one of the greatest chemists of all time, and he couldn't even spell it right. Ooh, I'm going to take that? <laughs> also, I loved him in The Hobbit. Oh. <laughs> Manuel, you have a response for the for the spelling of this Nobel laureate, his spelling skills, and he looks like a hobbit. Okay, so um, how many times you said he was spelled it? It was, I don't know the exact number. How many, oh. It was just new, a few times. I don't know. But, um, but uh, did I mention that he grew up in a really poor, poor, like very poor community? Like, it doesn't uh, matter, he wasn't smart, huh? <laughs> <laughs> I'm just po I'm trying to point out like say like maybe like his early childhood might have affected like his later on career in life like um like are you perfect like no I don't. <laughs> of course not is anyone in this room perfect yeah. well, I am no yeah, I am. except for the exception of these two people no one else here is perfect so. So, Jared, um, Go, does that make the exception that saying um, that he's perfect? No, no of course not. No. So, <laughs> what does a single word have to do anything with his uh, wonderful works on electronegativity? <laughs> he won the award that every chemist dreams of winning, and then he didn't even spell the award right. So. <laughs> That's cool. yeah, right. All right, next question. <laughs> Linus Pauling, next question. Do you have any more questions? Um. <laughs> Are you Googling right now? No. I'm looking okay. at the notes no, that go I ahead, have. Go ahead. Oh, God. I'm worried. I'm like, goodness. <laughs> right here. 
Um, do you think your person should be number one for the chemist, even though you're a callback? Ooh! Oh. Ooh. Oh. Ooh. Okay, yeah, no, I, I do. And for, like I said when I was first presenting, one of the first things we learned about in this class was, the Heisen, was Heisenberg's uncertainty principle because the atom that we know it as today, you know, people, there have been so many people that tried to predict, you know, what does an atom look like? How does it, you know, act? And, you know, without Heisenberg's uncertainty principle, we wouldn't even know, like, the very base of what we're made of. So I think that alone shows, like, he broke everything down to as small as it possibly gets, and he got it right. I think that alone says this guy is the coolest chemist. All right. All right. Do you have any more, Heisenberg, do you have any more questions for Lance Paul? No, I, I, that's about it. All right. Well, thank you very much, gentlemen. That was very good. <laughs>